So we're here with Steve Hart from Tackle HQ. Now, Steve, demersal jigging's taken off in the last couple of years. Um, jigging was basically introduced in WA uh, when we had the, the big schools of Sampson Fish off the back of Rottnest Island. The guys have diversified and um, they're catching all manner of species now. They are, mate, they are. You know, these days, um, the, the world's, you know, your oyster. You can catch anything from King George whiting to Jewfish, pink snapper, bullching groper. People are going out deep using one and a half kilo jigs, catching hapuka, bass groper, ruby snapper, blue eye traveller, etc. Now, what people may not know is that um, although these look like a painted piece of lead, there's actually a lot of design and engineering goes into them. Um, is it all about the, the action on the fall or when you lift? What's your opinion on what makes a good demersal jig? Bit of both, mate. Bit of both. Definitely, um, these guys here, yeah, you're right. A lot of people just think it's a bit of uh, lead with a bit of paint on it. But these, um, especially the big ja Japanese companies, do a lot of um, research and they and the, the way these jigs work through the water is unbelievable. I really think it's the, um, you know, the action of a lot of, lot of the jigs is uh, amazing and also the... Um, you know, the different techniques used to, uh, to catch the fish. So if you're keen to get into jigs on demersals, um, there's lots available. Come and see someone like Steve at your local tackle shop. Thanks, Steve. We hope you have a great show. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day.